Hey guys, welcome back to Feed the World to Chili Wowers. Now there's been a big development that I'm going to show you in a second, but this episode I figured what we're going to try and do is at the end of it, hopefully, we'll be able to kind of craft the factory where we're going to process the chilies after we farmed them. But before we actually manage to process them, we're going to need to have a way to farm them. And I figured the best way to do that would be with railcraft. So what I'm going to try and do is set up a simple minecart railcraft way of farming chilies. So let's jump in and see if we can do it. Now that big development I was going to show you guys, well, remember how this used to be wheat? Uh, yeah, it's not wheat anymore. It's chilies. Chilies everywhere. Chilies as far as the eye can see. Oh man, isn't this magnificent? Well, this is this is what happens when you when you mess with it with um with the server and uh, and bad things happen. <laughs> wheat becomes chilies. But it's not so bad because we weren't doing anything with the barley anyway. So there's wheat as far as the, well no there's chilies I should say as far as the eye can see. So all this wheat all these chilies that we planted outside the front, we don't really need them anymore because we've got more chilies than we can ever use. But the thing is if we started to farm these they wouldn't come back. Look this land isn't tilled. So these chilies won't grow again. What we need is a reliable way a renewable way to farm chilies and I want to do that inside the greenhouses up here. Now I had an idea to use railcraft to make a railcraft minecart farm so I'm going to type in at railcraft to see what kind of things we can use to farm chilies. Now there must be a special kind of cart for farming up some chili. So let's see, there's an anchor cart. Wow. Oh, the tunnel bore. I remember that thing. It's a massive thing that just creates a huge tunnel underground that you can put rails in. An undercutter cart, a work cart, a tank cart, a pumpkin cart. What's that good for? A locomotive, of course, a gift cart. Oh, TNT, a track relayer cart, admin anchor cart. Oh, very special anchor cart. Well, okay, maybe there isn't anything in Railcraft that can help us. But what about Steve's carts? Right, so what we're going to need to use is a mod from Steve's carts, a module from Steve's carts. It's basically a, a basic farmer, and we attach it to a mine cart that goes around the track and, uh, and just basically farms up blocks and puts seeds back down in their place and carries them, hopefully, back around to a place where we can collect them and drop them off and maybe put them in barrels. So what we're doing is we're going to start a Steve's cart and a Railcraft adventure. Now, Railcraft starts with some Coke ovens. Now, luckily enough... Oh, no, what are you doing? Ah! Eee! Okay, whew, almost got taken out by a spider. Right, so we're going to go all the way up because first thing... Ooh, ooh, oh, no! Oh, right, yeah, this floor is off limits. Hmm, can't tell you why, but you'll see maybe later. Right, floor four, power and materials. Now, I put signs on this side of the lift as well as the outside so that when you're going up the lift, you don't need to come out the door to see where you are. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up this chest because inside here, there's a bunch of sand and also clay, which are two of the important things we need 
to make our first Coke oven. Now we're also gonna need coal. We haven't got any of that here, so we'll have to go back to the farm and get some of that. Also, we're probably gonna need some iron, likely some gold. And I think we're gonna need to turn some cobblestone into normal stone, but we haven't got any of that knocking around, so we'll have to go and grab some up. But that's no problem. Now we'll go back down to the level down here. Actually, have we got any wood? I hope we've got a crafting table downstairs. Actually, in case we don't, I'm just gonna take this one. Here we go. There we go, I'll just borrow you. I'll bring you back later, don't worry, I promise I will. Okay, right, so let's put down the crafting table and get to work creating some Coke ovens. Now, Coke ovens are important because they let you turn coal into coal Coke, which is something that you need a lot of when you're doing all this railway stuff, but also it lets you make, um, it makes, lets you, but also it lets you make creosote, which is quite important. If we show you here, creosote, that's what we need. We need that to make some of the rails. So the first thing we need to do is make a Coke oven. And to do that, we need a Coke oven brick. Lots of them, by the way. And they are bricks mixed with sand. Oh, okay, right, I see. So we're gonna have to fire the clay into bricks and then combine it with sand. So we're going upstairs to the furnace level to borrow these energized smelters quickly to make, oh yeah, there's some seared brick. Just the stuff, I can store that, use it later, although I've, I've maxed out how much seared bricks we've got at the moment on the smeltery, so this is at maximum capacity. If you right click here, you can just see how much stuff we can put in there, loads. Oh yeah, and we've got loads of iron and loads of steel in there. That's great stuff. So I'm just gonna put some clay in here because I think putting it in here fires it into bricks. And that's exactly what we wanna do. So a Coke oven is a multi-block structure. As you can see, a three by three block of Coke oven bricks, but the middle is hollow. And a coke oven works like a normal oven in that you put coal in, but instead of burning anything, all you do is you burn the coal into coke and get some creosote from it. It's a long process though. It takes about three minutes, I think, to burn one coal into coal coke. So it'll take a long time for us to get the creosote we need to make all the rails we need. But while we're doing that, I can show you how to make the cart assembler, which is the core part of Steve's carts that we're gonna use to automate our farming process. Oh yeah, it's gonna be great, because the one thing that automating farming does in the mod pack is it kind of lets you have it go on in the background. You have these machines that just do it for you, but don't, you don't see it happening. What I really like the idea of is, is using Steve's carts and actually watching a minecart go around and actually dig up the chilies and farm them and replant them. That sounds amazing. Right, now while this is thawing up, while this is cooking up, I can use, of course, my thermometer to extract some information from all these blocks around the outside. Now, I can't learn a lot from most of these things, but sometimes, oh, there we go! A bit of Saxum and Ignis from that block. Casting table. Oh yeah, even more points. What about this faucet? Oh yeah, and the drain? Ah, oh, sweet. The great thing about Thorncraft is you can always be looking at and learning about blocks and getting, ooh, Carpenter's Wedge Slope. Oh, nothing can be learned. What about an elevator? Oh, there you go. Toilet paper and hammers. Nice. Oh, and a, a, a clue to new research. Is that Panas or Fabrico? I don't know. Let's try the stained glass as well. Ah, oh, no, nothing can be learned from Mine Factory stained glass. If it was normal stained glass, I reckon I could learn a thing or two. Right, so let's check the ovens and see, oh yeah, definitely got over 64 bricks now. So I can go downstairs and make my first coal oven. Oh yeah, coal coke oven. Floor one, ooh, creeper. Uh-oh, now I'm gonna have to confront him. So let's see. Will the chili bean be enough to kill him? Let's try. Oh no, he blew! Oh no, disaster! Okay, I better go downstairs and get my stuff. Oh damn, I hate creepers. I need to make sure that this place is well lit so that I don't have to deal with any more creepers because, oh man, what a pain. Look how much he wrecked. Whew, okay, so everything's back as it should be, but I'm gonna put a new sign on this floor to make sure we know what it actually is now because this is floor one, railcraft, 
And I can just put that because we can assume that it's Steve, Steve's craft as well, as well. So let's see, floor one. Railcraft. Oh yeah, right. So we've got all we need to make our first cold coke oven. So let's do it. Now I'm going to put sand, I think, in the corners, wasn't it? Like that. And there we go. And now bricks around here too. Let's try this. How many do we get? 16. Oh. Now have I miscalculated this? I don't think I have. 17. Oh no, do we need a lot more bricks? Let's go and see. Let's plonk these down and see how many we how close we can get to making our first cold coke oven. Now I'm going to put it up against the wall over this side. But I'm going to leave a two block gap on the side because we might want to pipe into or out of this. Oh yeah, we definitely need nine more coke oven bricks. So it's time to head upstairs and get the remainder of... Oh! The remainder of our clay bricks. Almost done. Now this should be enough. 47 should be enough. Oh, let's just grab this one. 48. Should be enough for us to complete our first cold coke oven. Oh, I'm going to need to put down a block of sand here just so I can get up there. Right, here we go. So I'll put one, two, three. Now I need, uh, I think it's nine more blocks. So I probably don't even have enough sand. Oh no, this could be an issue. Five blocks there. Seven. Eight. Oh, but I'm missing just a little bit of sand for that final coke brick. Oh, there it is. There's one sand at least. Oh, but I need two more sand, so let's go out and grab some from outside. But to make it quicker to get back here, I'll put down a mark so that I can teleport right back here with the sand. Oh man, there really are chilies everywhere, even over the other side of the river. This is crazy. All the wheat, all the barley has turned into chilies. This is crazy. It's like a dream come true. Ha <laughs> ha, red chilies as far as the eye can see. Now luckily I've got loads and loads of clay now and sand, so I should be fine to make myself some more coke ovens. So let's cast the Mark Turpin teleport spell on myself and get back to where we need to be. There we go, zoom. Bam, there we go, 12 cold coke oven blocks, but we should only need nine for this top bit. Now, fingers crossed. If this works, whoops. If this works, the front block should get a screen on it and it'll become a cold coke oven. So, fingers crossed, here we go. Yes, there we go, woohoo! Our first cold coke oven, high fives. Now, what we need to do is put cold coke in there and it will slowly turn, or put coal in there and it'll slowly turn into cold coke. So, again, I've got my teleport here. I'm going to go over to the farm, see if I can find some coal, because I'm pretty sure we've got some coal seeds down there somewhere. And I'll get it all back here so that I can make some coal coke in those coal coke ovens. Oh yeah, so excited. Hang on a sec. Um, There's supposed to be a giant straw statue here. Oh, that's, that's weird. Well, I guess, like, Lewis logs on all the time to kind of change stuff on the farm. So what he must have done is he must have, like, deleted him so that he can put in something new, some new kind of power generation. Because I'm not sure biofuel is really cutting it over here on the farm. So it looks like he's um, he's got some barrels. Oh, he's, he's, he's drained the biofuel out. And, um, and what's this? Oh, flux? What's he doing with drums of flux goo? Oh, I don't know. It can't be good. I'll have to talk to him when he logs on, see what he's doing. But anyway, let's find... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and we're doing some brewing stuff over there. But you're going to have to wait for Shin's farm later on to see what we're doing with that. Now, holy Moses! We've got 19 stacks of 64 coal. So I'm just going to... Get a whole bunch of this. One, two, three, four, five, I think six stacks. Because if we make all oh, three coke ovens, we can put a stack in there and we have a stack to burn. So I'm just going to now use my teleport spell. Whoosh! And I'm back at base. Right. 
So let's put the coal in here and let it get to work. Now, is it going to fire up? Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, we can see the front panel is, is lit a flame and the coal coke oven is burning. Vroom. Now, let's go to the top, get our bricks back. Oh, off limits. Now, I can't tell you what's behind that door, but don't worry. You'll see soon enough in Shin's farm. Now, have we got enough bricks? We probably don't have enough bricks, so we're going to have to wait for these to churn up even more. What I'll do is I'll top these up with clay. And I'll make the cart assembler to show you guys what else it is we're doing. Because rails are... We use the creosote to make the, um, to make the, the rails, of course, because we use it to make wooden ties, which are the wooden bits in wooden tracks. But we're going to need a cart assembler. So let me show you how that's made. A cart assembler. <laughs> and uh, we need iron, stone, and a simple PCP, a uh, simple PCB, printed circuit board. And we use redstone, gold, and iron to get that. So there must be some redstone upstairs. Probably not any normal stone. Now it's time to make the cart assembler. So how do we do this? We need printed circuit board. So have we got the stuff for that? Yep, we'll need two of those. Bam. And we are going to need all stone, iron, and those circuit boards. There we go. Bam. That was quick and easy, wasn't it, guys? Okay. Let's plunk this thing down right next to... Well, not right next to it. Just a nearby it. Now, we're also going to need a crowbar. To get a crowbar, we're going to need... I think it's die. But what else are we going to need? A crowbar. It needs... Red dye and iron ingots. Okay, well, I'll go and get some red dye and make one of those liggity split. Well, instead of looking around for red flowers, what I'm going to do is head back to the farm and just pick up some dye from there. Because I've got plenty of dye essence and that can be used to make red dye without needing the flowers at all. All oh, right, of course, but why even bother going to the barn when I can go over to the bee pollination fields and, oh yeah, I can already see some red flowers. Now, one of the cool things about when bees breed is that they create so many flowers around the hives. Just look how many flowers there are around this thing. It's crazy. So crazy. I'm just going to use these flowers. Now, can I make these into dye? Let's take a look. Bam. Oh yeah, six rose red dye. So let's just teleport back to base. Here we go, back on floor one, railcraft. So now I need to make this into a crowbar. Bish, bash, bosh. And that creates a, a raw handle for Steve's carts too. But we don't need one of those, but what we do need is a, is a crowbar. So I'm just going to plonk you down and bam, I've got a crowbar. Good stuff. Now let's check up on the coal coke and see what's happening over here. Oh yeah, now as you can see, it's only created three coal coke and 1,500 creosote oil. So we're going to need a lot more of these coal coke ovens to get enough creosote. But what you can also do is you can pipe coal in with normal pipes. They work like chests. And also you can pump out the creosote into big tanks. So what we'll do is we'll create a big tank for creosote oil. Oh yeah, the second coal coke oven. Now let's fill this up straight away with a stack of coal so that instantly we can start making creosote. Oh yeah, but we're getting, we're getting enough of this. So I think with two coal coke ovens, we're probably going to have enough. Actually, do you know what? I can probably squeeze another coal coke oven on top of this coal coke oven. But what that would be hard, that might break it because it would mean that we can't feed stuff in through the top. Right, well, let's take a look at the cart assembler. I'll give you a quick look at how we make these carts. Now, to start making a cart, here you can see you've got to add a cart hull of your choice to the hull slot. That's on the left up there. And then once you have a hull, a hull's like the shell of the cart, you need, you need to put an engine in it. Then you need to put a tool on it, attachments, storage, and then if you want to put some add-ons on as well, you can do those too. But that's going to get, that's getting into the even more complicated part of Steve's cart. So we'll look into that next episode for sure. But before we go, what I want to do is make a rolling machine. Because that's the second most important part. Oh, whoops, we've got caps on there. But here we go. This is the second most important part of railcraft because this is what lets us make proper rails. So we're going to need some pistons, a crafting table, and some iron. Now, I think I've got everything I need for that except cobblestone. So I'll go and grab some cobblestone and head back here. 
All right, cool. So I'm back and I should have everything I need for a rolling machine. So let's see how I can make this. I need pistons. Now, have I got enough for that? Let's check. Now, that's not how we're going to make a piston. We're going to use iron, cobblestone, and wood. There we go. Now, I need four of these. One, two, three, four, I think. Let's just double check. Yep, four pistons. A crafting table. I can make one of those. Oh, just got to get rid of this stuff. There we go. And around the edge, I need iron. So there we go. Bam. One rolling machine. So let's just plonk this down right next to the cart assembler just here. And you can see that, oh, no, the rolling machine needs power. So how do we power the rolling machine? Now, the rolling machine is going to need power from upstairs. So what that means is next episode, what we're also going to do is feed the power all the way down from the top. This means that definitely what we can do is we can set the coal up. We can keep burning coal, keep creating creosote. And while we're doing that, we'll build a big reactor that we can use to generate lots and lots of power and then ship that power around the tower. I'll feed down some power cables right through the elevator shaft and bring it to every floor so that everywhere that needs power can get it lickety split. But I've been Stin and this has been Feed the World to the Chiliwawa Tower. Now we're definitely going to be using a lot of railway systems to get around because the way I figure is we can use them outside to just go up and down the fields and farm all the chilies that we can and then also replant them until the land. That'd be perfect. So hit like and favorite and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Chili Wower action. Take care.